Hi, I'm Father Anthony Hannon from Invium Patches Retreats. I'm a priest with the Catholic Archdiocese of Ottawa, Canada. This is the introductory video in a series of videos on my expectations for candidates who would receive sacraments in the Holy Catholic Church. I say they're my expectations because your particular priest may have some variations on this, which are allowable, of course. But on the whole, what I think I am presenting to you is the expectations of the Church for every candidate under normal circumstances. I'd like to begin with explaining a principle, a truth, and that is that parents are the primary educators of their children. You may also have heard parents are the first educators of their children. But it's not as though your role as educator for your children is to just teach them how to count to 10 or 20 and teach them simple arithmetic and subtraction and maybe the alphabet and then send them off to school and then your job has been done. And I think you know that. And I think in your heart you want to teach your children everything that you can, right? Moms, do you not want to teach your daughters and your sons, all the things you've learned in your life. Fathers, the same. Pass on wisdom. Of course, you can delegate some things to others, especially as your children get older. I mean, there's nothing wrong with sending your children to, to a school to learn. But it's your choice of how you're going to educate your children. It's your responsibility. You can, of course, homeschool them. But then later you may find that there are certain subjects that you need to send your children off to someone else. Fair enough. But when it comes to the faith, passing on the Catholic faith, this is so fundamental, so important that you do this directly with each child. Now I realize that some children are in, you know, different situations. Not every child has a mom and dad at home. Not every child has mom and dad who have the supernatural gift of faith. This is true. But in the norm, the parents are to pass on the faith. And this applies to pre preparing your children to receive the sacraments as well. Now you might say, but Father, when I was little, when I was seven years old and I received First Holy Communion, my mom or dad didn't teach me. They let the school do it, or they had a special program at the parish. Yeah, I know. For years, for decades, this is my opinion, for years and decades, priests and parishes through parish programs and Catholic schools have taken away from the parents their rightful place in preparing their children for the sacraments and passing on the faith. We have robbed you parents of the joy and the privilege of passing on the faith to your children. We have enabled you, not in the good sense, to abdicate your responsibilities. And I don't think this has been good for children or for families, for moms and dads, for the parishes, for the church as a whole, or for society by extension. We really need to enable you not to abdicate your responsibilities, but to take up your responsibilities. That's what we ought to do. In my last parish, the way I would do it is simply like this. I would provide for free some very basic resources. A parent who had been, going, had been bringing their children to Mass, they would simply come to me and say, I think my child is ready to receive First Holy Communion. Great. I'm going to give you some resources. They were little, they were little, um, little books, booklets, really. How to go to confession, how to receive Holy Communion, how to prepare for that. 
And then the parents would look at it, they would talk to their children, and when they thought that their children were ready, their child was ready, they'd simply make an appointment with me. Maybe I would go over to their house and they would come over to the parish, and we'd have just a chat with the parents and the child, and I would simply fill in some of the gaps and reinforce to the child what the parents have already taught them. It's the priest's responsibility, if I understand the church's laws, the canon law, properly. It's the, parent, it's the priest's responsibility to make sure that the child is prepared, but not to do it. And the same thing goes with any type of parish prep, uh, sacramental preparation program or for uh, Catholic schools. Maybe you feel intimidated by that. Don't you, don't you don't have to. No one knows everything. It's okay. And your priest is there to help you, to guide you, to provide you with the resources or point you in the right direction. And I want to really encourage you and affirm you that God does give you the grace and will give you the grace to pass on these things to your children. He wouldn't give you a responsibility that you're not able to do. Okay. You're going to hear three descriptive words in these videos from time to time. Must, should, and may. A must is something that has to be done. It's an obligation. It's not an option. Could there be exceptions? Maybe, depending what it is. Maybe. But exceptions should be exceptional, right? By definition. The second word, should, this is the best scenario, the best case scenario. If you can do these things, because that's the best for your child or the best for you. And then there's may, and mays are options. Sometimes a priest or a deacon or a bishop in uh, carrying out his religious duties, sometimes he has legitimate options. And you, as a parent or the candidate, may have also legitimate options. But I would say, this is important. With everything, why don't we go for the best? Why don't we go for the best? Okay. There are seven sacraments, so I'll give at least seven videos, right? There's three initiation sacraments, baptism, confirmation, and Holy Eucharist. There are two healing sacraments. The Sacrament of Reconciliation, also known as the Sacrament of Confession, also known as the Sacrament of Penance. And then there's the healing sacrament of the anointing of the sick, also known, at least in, especially in previous days, as extreme unction. But it's a healing sacrament to help strengthen and heal someone who has a serious illness or old age. And then there's two other sacraments. There's the sacrament of holy orders, that is when a man becomes a deacon or a priest or a bishop by the laying of the hands of a bishop or another bishop in the ordination rite. And then finally, last but not least, the sacrament of holy matrimony. So please tune in for the next video, which will be on the first sacrament and that is baptism in Vian Patches.